Yep. All right, cool. Can you guys see everything? We can. Okay. Let's make it big just for fun. Okay, so uh, again, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for taking some time to be with me here this morning. And thank you so much, Nikki and South Bay Association and our awesome AI sponsors, Joanne and Susie are, are awesome. So please, please uh, do business with them. It's definitely worth it. <laughs> Um, these are unprecedented times. Um, I know it's a cliche, but it pretty much seems to work for every aspect of our world right now. Um, I keep telling my kids this is a time they'll be telling their kids about and they need to pay attention. We all need to pay attention. But for the purposes of this conversation, we're in a world right now where sellers don't want to have people in their homes and buyers don't want to be in the homes. And we're all getting used to doing everything online. This meeting, grocery shopping, which I will probably be doing after this meeting. Um, and this puts you guys in a, a really tough spot, honestly. You have a home to sell so you can make a living, contribute to the economy. And all the issues that we could address in this world, this is the one we're gonna focus on right now because this is the one that we can do something about together. And I really wanna help. <clears throat> so who are we? Uh, I'm gonna step back for a moment. In case you don't know my company, Walkthrough Productions, we're a boutique video and virtual 360 walkthrough marketing agency with our own distribution channel, selectsouthbay.com. We have been making videos and virtual 360 walkthroughs for South Bay real estate for over seven years, I can't believe. We've been sending out Inside Opens videos for the Brokers Open to 2,300 agents in the South Bay on a weekly basis, and we created selectsouthbay.com which is uh, an online real estate listing portal where buyers can search for South Bay properties. And it's basically like a Zillow meets HGTV, but only for the South Bay. Um, we've been surprisingly busy during this pandemic and we're extremely grateful for it. And it's thanks to many of you. So I'm very appreciative today. Um, here's a quick agenda of how to market virtually. Um, we're gonna go through all of these slides, how real estate marketing is changing, which virtual tour to choose, preparing, preparing for the tour, the shoot, the deliverables, some ideas for marketing, um, metrics, a new feature that we have, and uh, how to win more listings. So I'm gonna talk to you, I'm gonna walk you through what a virtual tour is, how to choose the right one, our process for marketing safely, how to prepare your sellers, have the best experience, give you some ideas for what to do with those marketing materials so you can get the house seen, and get it sold. So, traditional marketing is not enough anymore. What are you supposed to do when people are nervous about seeing and showing their houses? You need to find a way to do it like everything else these days, virtually. Photos are great and probably more important than ever, but they're just not enough anymore. Videos are great too, because they can touch buyers on an emotional level and get them excited about a house. But the only thing that can come closest to the experience of really walking through a house and being there yourself is a virtual 360 walkthrough. Now, I think you're all pretty familiar with photos and videos and websites. I'm happy to answer questions about any of those, but today our focus is gonna be on the virtual walkthrough. So I'm gonna start out with a little bit of a disclaimer here, which is that when we decided to start doing these virtual tours four years ago, we looked very carefully at the technologies available, and there are quite a few of them. Some are a lot more famous than others, and I'm not gonna name them, because my first purpose today is not to put down the competition in any way. I just wanna help you understand why we chose the technology that we chose and the advantages it offers to you when you're working with sellers and buyers. Uh, I'll talk you through some of the benefits, tell you a few things to look for, choosing the type of virtual experience that you want to offer. And then uh, at the end, I'll answer any questions you might have. If I don't know the answer, obviously I will get it for you. So what we looked for in a virtual walkthrough experience was an easy user interface. We wanted it to be real estate first, real estate focused, superior image quality, mobile friendly, accurate measurements, uh, the ability to edit the images afterwards and just having that complete package. So we chose the iGUIDE virtual 360 walkthrough. Um, it's a system called iGUIDE. We're the only ones in the area that are using this technology. iGUIDE makes an excellent landing destination for all of your marketing. It's self-contained. It houses your photos, your video, your PDF floor plans. It comes with weekly analytics. It's just truly a virtual tour in every sense of the word. And we now offer a special addition to the iGUIDE that I will reveal later on to you. So I'm going to give you a quick demo here of what we're talking about. So forgive me while I switch over. 
So this is our eye guide. You can see that we have our floor plan right here on the left hand side. It lays out all the rooms. It gives the user the ability to just jump quickly to whichever room they're interested in seeing. Um, and this was the really compelling feature for us. It's a straightforward interface. Even my parents can figure it out. They're actually pretty tech savvy, but you know, um, anyone can figure it out. And there are several different ways to navigate. So you can click on these little green dots. These are where the camera is placed. And you can switch around from room to room, go directly to whatever it is you want to see. Um, you can also swing this little spotlight around to view from there. Or you can actually just jump through the halls as if you're walking through the tour and swing and circle around this way. So there are a lot of different ways to navigate. It makes it super, super easy. Um, you can also see the exteriors in this product, which is really nice. Um, and you'll notice that um, the image quality is really great compared with other virtual tours. We have the ability to use white balance and Photoshop and other photography tools so you don't get reflections and shadows. You don't see the spooky ghost of the camera operator and the mirrors and the TVs. Um, and we can make virtual adjustments after the fact as well. Um, I can't say enough about this interface, you guys. It's, it's for sophisticated South Bay buyers. They tend to be a little older, a little more sophisticated. They want an interface that doesn't confuse and you really just want technology to enhance the experience instead of getting in the way. Um, and then perhaps most importantly, we really needed something that would load quickly on a phone. Um, most people are using mobile these days, 60% um, of people who look for homes at the very minimum. So that was another reason that we went with this iGuide technology. It's just a nice self-contained little tool. You get a branded version where you get your picture and your information all here. And you also get an unbranded version that you can put straight on the MLS um, and all your photos and video are up here in the tab. So you can check out here. These are the photos, nice little gallery, whether we take them or, or someone else does, not a big deal. We can stick in a video if you have a video and that will play right within here. And then um, there are some details as well. But Nikki's covering them up so I can't show them <laughs> right now. Um, so let's see, there's also details about the home. It has this great measuring tool that I wanted to show you as well. If you click down here on this little measuring area, um, let me move that out of the way. Um, you get a little how to, and then what you can do is you can actually click and drag right within the floor plan. And you can measure if your custom sofa is gonna fit there, you can measure for carpeting or drapes, um, which is also great. And then um, there's virtual staging available as well. So it makes an excellent landing destination for all your marketing, keeps it all together in one place, your photos, your video, your PDF floor plans. Um, it comes with weekly analytics you can share with your clients, which I can walk you through later. Um, so that is the iGuide. Uh, I'm assuming that you're sold on that. So I'm gonna go back to the presentation here and carry on. So how to prepare a home for your shoot. You want to make sure that your sellers really understand this is a 360 degree experience. It gets everything, floor to ceiling. Um, it's, you're going to want to make sure that they know this because they um, have a tendency to hide boxes and things like that behind doors and just everyone needs to understand that you want to maybe just put those all in one room if possible and get them out of the way. Um, it's a good idea to actually show them the eye guide ahead of time so that they know what to expect and they understand what they're getting into. Um, but all that being said, we can turn off certain views, certain pan panoramas. Um, the eye guide is also based on a very accurate measurement. Uh, it's a measuring tool first. So there's a laser on top of the camera. It bounces off the walls. Um, so we have to go into every room, large closet, storage spaces, garages, just so that those items show up on the floor plan and in your precious square footage. Um, but, but like I said, we do have the ability to turn them off so they're not shown because we know everybody kind of needs a place to store their junk. Um, we also suggest that people remove any personal things like kids' photos or medications or bills or whatever. Um, and then prepare like you would for a photo shoot, honestly. You want to make sure the blinds are even, the pillows are fluff, the bed sheets and towels are nice and straight. Um, people spend three to four minutes or more interacting with the eye guide. So you really want to make sure you know that they're lingering, they're studying. You just want the home to be a real showcase. Um, as far as our process during COVID-19, we are required to sign a PEED form stating that we will wear protective gear. But if your client has special sensitivities, please let us know so we can be extra careful. You know, if they're pregnant or at risk or anything, you definitely want to let us know ahead of time. 
Um, we ask that no one's in the house during the shoot and for one hour prior, and that windows be left open to keep the air circulating. Make sure your clients know what to expect ahead of time. You know, the house is just ready. It's all on. It's exactly the way you want it, so we don't have to touch a bunch of things and, and get things ready. That just makes it go as smoothly as possible. Okay, so the shoot. Um, we go into the house, we hide our equipment boxes, we get everything set up, we'll, we'll stash things in a closet or a garage, and, and then we start by walking around with the camera to map the house. And then we go room to room, and we choose several spots in each room to place the camera. It takes about an hour and a half for a 2,500 to 3,000 square foot house, I'd say. You know, longer if we're shooting photos or video at the same time which we can do. And then we just pack up, we go to the office and we process everything. And the eye guide is usually back to you within a day or two. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that we have your photos. If we took them, we have them, but if you have somebody else take them, you need to send them along so they can go in that gallery. Um, and then your video, if you did that, and your branding, your headshot, your contact information, your logo, all that kind of good stuff. That's Steve, by the way, that's my partner. So <laughs> we're all masked up and ready to go. Um, these are the deliverables. This is what you get in your email box a couple days later. Um, you can see you get some basic links here for the virtual tour. You get the branded and the unbranded. You can copy and paste that unbranded, stick it right in the MLS under your virtual tour. And you're good to go. You also get downloadable floor plans, which I can show you also. Um, you can use those on your brochures. I don't think people are doing brochures and flyers much anymore, but if you need them, you have them. Um, and then there are also some downloads available. Um, you have an offline version. This is really important because you're, and then you're not at the mercy of anybody else. You're not paying a subscription to be able to access your iGuide. It's something that you can have and hold. And knowing the cell reception and the internet reception in the area, it's really nice to be able to have it offline for listing presentations and things like that. So you can just bring it right up. Um, the uh, photospheres are really cool. I'm going to show you those later too. You can put those right on Facebook and it's just like one room at a time, one panel at a time that spins around. And then of course, uh, the measurements you have here. These are the property details. They're extremely detailed, probably more than you need, but they're really useful to have. And I know there's a trend in North America for more accurate measurements to be required. So this is really good to know. Um, and if you don't like them, if they don't agree with your tax records or whatever you want those numbers to be, you can also turn those measurements off so no one can see them if you're not super proud of them. Um, here's the, what the floor plan looks like. This is the downloadable floor plan. There are a couple more pages, but just to show you kind of the basic detail that you get and the colors and the labeling. And then this is what those photospheres look like. You can just put it right on Facebook. And then people can click and drag and interact with it right there on Facebook, which I think is pretty cool. So what do you do with all this awesome marketing stuff once you have it? Let me give you some ideas. Um, you can embed the iGuide into your personal website. Uh, you can put it in your broker's website or your property website so it lives right there within that page. You can send it out in an email blast. Your sellers will love this. Um, it's great on social media and have your sellers all share it to their circle. That's a good idea. Um, and you can use those individual photo spheres to post kind of, you know, every now and then keep the conversation going. So you've posted the whole thing and then a couple weeks later, oh, you should see this living room. You should see this fireplace, all the cool features that you have. Um, and then you can also, since you can download it, it really makes a great seller or buyer gift because you can put it on a nice little thumb drive, put it in a pretty little box and give it to them. And it's useful for, for everyone as a keepsake for the sellers. And then also as a tool for the buyers, if they need to run out to Home Depot and get something, then they've got everything there. Um, also make sure that you send your photos to us for inside opens. We are collecting 12 high resolution photos and we are creating uh, our videos that we send out on Saturdays. Um, we're now including all of the South Bay. So don't hold back if you've got one of those other cities we weren't doing before, we're doing them all. As soon as you have everything, the minute it's ready to go, send it to me at editor at selectsouthbay.com. Uh, also, the South Bay Association is doing a virtual brokers open. You want to make sure they get it. The iGuide is perfect for that because you can share your screen and just walk people around to the main selling points. Um, you can do the same thing for buyers on a Zoom call as well. Um, take them through and show them around and answer their questions as you do it. And you want to also make sure your listing looks great on selectsouthbay.com. So this is Select South Bay right here. This is one of the listings, a sample. And if you were to scroll down, you would see all of the videos and, and virtual tours and everything down below so you can see everything. Um, okay, so 
uh, you want to check to make sure that it is there on Select South Bay. If for any reason it's not, it should come in through the CRMLS, but if it's not, let us know and we'll talk you through syndication of that. So how do you know all this marketing stuff is working? Well, you get this fabulous metrics email once a week that tells you uh, your visits for all time, the last 10 days, last eight weeks. It tells you where the top referrals are coming from, which is really great. Um, they're really important because you can share them with your client. You can forward that email directly if you want, but it also can help you adjust your efforts. If, if you aren't getting as much traffic from where you expected, then you can adjust your efforts and try to um, change that where that's coming from. Um, so one more thing to add about the two, uh, started doing a lot of these virtual tours. We've been getting a lot of um, questions and people calling and saying, hey, is there any way that I can do a narrated tour of my 360 walkthrough? Um, and we've created one. There wasn't one before, but we think this is a really great solution for you guys to be able to give a tour 24 seven. Nobody else is doing this. Um, and we're offering a deal 10% off your your first package with the code SBAOR class. But I will actually click and play that for a second so you can see what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a step above doing a, a Zoom tour with someone. So let me see if I can get that going for you. Hi everyone, I'm Brenna Humphreys with Walkthrough Productions and welcome to my narrated virtual 360 walkthrough of 440 6th Street in Manhattan Beach. Now this is a gorgeous West Coast cod home and look where it is, right on the walk street in Manhattan Beach. So you guys can imagine your name family, and your brand to be totally a coveted property and you have this nice little patio here to enjoy it. Look at that fire pit and bench. Um, Let's go inside because this place is awesome and I don't want to wait one more minute to show it to you. So here we are in the family room and this is just an entertainment space to die for. I mean, look at the beautiful hardwood floor. Um, the whole place was renovated. So I think you guys get the idea. I'm not going to subject you to the whole thing, but it's online if you want to click and take a look at it yourselves. Um, we'll send you everything you need to create the tour and then you send us back to us for editing and we'll put in all the graphics and the contact information and cut out all your all your mistakes and your foibles, which we all have. I had a few. Um, so we'll edit all that stuff out and then I showed you that video tab at the top of the eye guide. It can go there and just live there so people have the option to take the narrated tour or they can take the interactive tour and, and guide it themselves. So a video with you walking through the house with the lights and the audio is obviously the best experience where we're there and we've got the cameras and we're really set up. But a video like that can cost two to three thousand dollars sometimes. We can do this one remotely and the cost is way less. Um, and like I said, we're going to give a discount to anyone in this class. So now, how do you win more listings? You want to use your eye guide and all your listing presentations. It definitely alleviates worries from your sellers who are worried about having a lot of people coming through the house and, and um, shows them just a new way to do it. And it shows that you're definitely up on the latest technology. Um, before I completely close out on the presentation, I definitely want to answer some questions, but I also wanted to ask whether there's anyone on the call who has actually um, experienced the eye guide and if they want to share their experience. I'm putting it up here. Okay, let me see if I can see the Q&A. No questions. Okay, well, uh, does anyone have any questions or any comments? I'm not able to hear anybody. Let's see. Karina, oh, my client loves the eye guide. Thank you, Karina. That's nice to hear. Thank you so much, Karina. Anybody else? The narrative version, I think you're going to love it. You'll be great for that. Uh, I do have a pricing guide. I can send that out to everyone after the class. Um, hopefully, I can get all your emails from Nikki. I'll send that out to you. The eye guides can start as low as 315, Nicole's asking, um, and it's all based on square footage. Anything else? Any more questions? Well, hopefully it's helpful to you. And um, all of my information is on the last screen of the presentation, which of course I've already gotten rid of, but I'll put that into the uh, chat. And you guys are welcome to 
call me with any questions. I know this is a really strange time and it's really difficult to know what next steps are. Um, so feel free anytime to reach out and ask and I'm happy to help with anything. If anybody does want the pricing guide or the information that Brenna was mentioning, please reach out to her directly and send her an email so she can get you that information. So she's gonna put her info back up on the screen. That way you can take note of it and let her know if you're interested in any of the information. We're getting there. <laughs> Here it is. Almost. There you go. Thank you, everyone. It's Brenna at walkthroughproductions.com, 310-663-7051. Call me, text me. I'm happy to answer any questions. Stay safe out there, everybody. Thank you so much, Brenna. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Okay. Thank you. I'll leave the screen up for a minute so everyone can um, jot it down if they wanted to um, get the information from Brenna. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Have a good day.